Hello friends, once again welcome back to the automotive basic session. This is Som Shekhar. In previous video we have discussed about CAN bus termination and now we are going to discuss about CAN bus characteristics. Ok friends, let's start with CAN bus characteristics. Friends, CAN bus uses a wired and logic. What does it mean? As you all know, AND logic means only two logic states possible, either 1 or 0, either recessive or dominant bit. You can see in the picture, 1 is represented as a recessive bit and 0 is represented as a dominant bit. So, friends, you can see in this table, the AND logic truth table for three binary operands. What it says, if all the inputs A, you can see in this picture A, B and C are 1 then the output will be 1 if any one of the input is 0 then the output will be 0 so according to this on a CAN bus if all the nodes transmit 1 then only the value will be 1 hence the value will be 0 so you can see in this slide have written here as soon as one node transmits a dominant bit the bus is in a dominant state so the conclusion is two logic states possible on the CAN bus one is equal to recessive and zero is equal to dominant okay friends before <coughs> discussing about our CAN bus characteristics I would like to brief you about a transistor. What is transistor? Transistor is a semiconductor device used to amplify or switch electronic signals and electrical power. Transistors are composed of a three parts a base, collector and an emitter. Friends I would like to explain the working of a transmitter with a simple analogy by making use of a tap. So you can see in this picture the val <coughs> the value can be controlled with less force by using an AND I named it as a base here you can see in the picture and the left hand side of the tap will be connected to water pipe I named it as a collector and if the valve is on the water flows in the right side of the tap here you can see in the picture this is I named it as a emitter here by applying the small amount of force on this valve we are controlling the amount of flow water flow from collector to emitter end here you can see in the picture friends in similar manner transistor can control much larger supply of electricity which is connected to the collector by using a small amount of electricity by applying to this base of the transistor friends as I already said transistor is having a three components base collector and emitter how it is done how by using base how we can control the large amount of electricity let's see friends the collector will be connected to VCC that means for the large amount of electricity will be supplied here and this is the V in so by using this V in we are going to control this collector and V out will be at the emitter side and this is our output so how we can control by sending the varying levels of current from the base the amount of current flowing through the gate from the collector may be regulated so in this manner a very small amount of current is used to control a large amount of current as an amplifier the same process is used to create a binary code for the digital processors since our CAN network is using a digital processors 
in the ECU so we need air transistor as a switch so the definition I already explained you guys you can see in the picture the next so since we are using a digital processor we need a voltage threshold of 5 volts here so here I am going to show you how AND logic works in a CAN network friends here I have a diagram you can see the diagram here this is the node A this is node B and this is node C so this is a, our is use will be made so in figure you can see the pull up resistors the purpose of pull up resistor is to prevent the accidental switching in a network and here I have three nodes node A, node B and node C so in node A the TX pin is designated or denoted as a S1 and RX pin is designated as a R1 so similarly in node B TX pin is designated as a S2 and RX pin is designated as a R2 and in node C TX pin is designated as S3 and RX pin is designated as S R3 so friends we already discussed about hand logic so this is the this circuit is going to work according to AND logic so let's consider node A, node B and node C is transmitting 0 in S1, S2 and S3 so what will be the value on canvas we will see now so you can see the animated picture at S1, S2 and S3 now we are sending 0 so since this is the NOT gate so we will be getting as the inverted value here so that's the reason we are sending 0 we are receiving 1 here so this will turn on our transistor what happens next you can see here so now the current will flow from collector to base and base to emitter so this will be grounded so what will be the value on RX pin so the value on RX pin is 0 in all the three nodes so that's the reason now you can easily say we are sending 0 and we are receiving 0 see how what's the value on the bus you can see here the bus value is 0 and we are going to get output as 0 the next example in the second example the node A is sending a 1 you can see here in the table and node 2 is sending 0 and node 3 is sending 0 you can see the inverted since we are sending 1 here we will be receiving 0 here and other two nodes since we are sending 0 we will be getting it as a 1 so these two nodes will activate the transistor that means activating the switch and this will not activate the switch or transistor you can see this is not activating this so anyway we know the AND logic works if all the nodes sending 1 then only the value on the bus will be 1 else it will be 0 apply the same so the value will be 0 once again similarly for other combination of inputs please check what's the behavior and what's the value on the CAN bus but now let's see when all are sending 1 that means node A, node B and node C all are sending 1 on S1 you can see in this animation we are sending 1 so the inverted value will be 0 and there is no switch activation so the value remains same on the bus so the output on the CAN bus will be 1 friends I hope you guys understood this so as I already explained about what is transistor and how it's going to control the binary values on our CAN bus this is just a short notes about that please go through this once it will help you a lot any queries 
please leave a comments below if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel secrets of automotive industry and hit thumbs up thank you all